All right, guys, last day at Trinity. Uh, yesterday's fishing was really good. We just really hammered them. John caught a bunch of, of big ones. You know, I was catching a bunch of fish on one spot, and he pulls over next to me and catch the biggest one out of the pack. You know, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, he caught a bunch of good ones. He had one about five and a half, one, one about four, and a couple of really solid fish. But, uh, yeah, we caught a lot of fish yesterday, so it was a really productive day. We, we figured something out with yesterday. You know, John was fishing stick-ups, and I was fishing the uh, steeper banks. So, um, you know, we fished quite a bit, we caught quite a bit, came back in, and then uh, we headed back out. But after once we headed back out, I didn't get any footage because it was just too hot, so my GoPros were overheating. But we caught a bunch then, too. So, uh, But today's last day. We are fishing for a few hours, fished till maybe 11.30. Uh, just before it gets too hot and then we're gonna start heading back so we got a few hours to burn today but other than that you know we're gonna go out there and throw that jig and drop shot and uh let's see if we catch them right all right guys so we're starting out with this la custom jig again there's a half ounce finesse jig has a round head so i cut some of the weed guards off so it's a little thinner spread them out a little bit so that it has a little better chance of hookup uh, the rod I'm using is a Power Endurance 723. It's a single rod. It's a lot softer. Uh, I prefer that softer rod for my jigs. And then for my reel, I have a Shimano Corrado with 15 pound P-Line Tactical. This rod is pretty much my rod that does everything I do, pretty much. You guys probably seen in my a lot of my videos, I throw this rod a lot. But it's a discontinued rod. Yeah, we're just gonna throw the jig around. It's hard to not throw the jig when they're eating it so good. They were just choking it. Uh, it was all the way down in the gut. And, and a lot of times you wouldn't feel the bite. You know, you'd have to really pay close attention and watch your line. You know, the bites, you can't feel them. You just have to watch your line. And your line kind of moves a little bit. And they're on, but... Hopefully the jig bites are good today. I don't see why it wouldn't be. But I'm just going to run this bank. So this entire bank is pretty bare, and then there's a patch of uh, stick-ups right here. And uh, yesterday, John caught a bunch of his fish out of here, and then uh, we came back and fished it towards the evening and caught a bunch of them out of here too. So what he was doing was he was light scoping these stick-ups, and he could see them in there. And uh, he throw a drop shot through them and catch them. And then, and then I told me about that bite, and then we came and did that again, threw a drop shot through the stick-ups and caught a bunch more. And then we went to my area on the other side and did the same thing through the drop shot and those stickups and caught a bunch over there too. So yeah, that these stickups with the drop shot seems to be what's getting a lot of bites. You know, after you catch a few off a jig, you throw that drop shot and catch a bunch of those suspended fish that are in it. Because these stickups actually come all the way down quite far. Good one. I think about this place, they all feel good here. <laughs> this Daddy, though. See that fish came out of these stick-ups. Um, 
See, there's one right there down there by that rock and those stick ups. I saw him come up and he went back down. But it's pretty thick down there. These fish are pretty well hidden in there. I got another bite. I'll show you guys my graph and my line started moving. And I felt my rod move in my lap. Pretty good one. I think that might have been that fish that we seen go down on the rock. I think this thing went right through it and he went down and grabbed it. But yeah, that's a good smallie. There's a few right there. My bait's going right down to them. He's come up for the sinker. Yep, they're on it. They're on it. Yep, it's looking. Oh, they bit it. Oh, oh come on. Come on. They get back on it. It's on now. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Oh, good quality. Can I double up? Drop a jig down there. Fighting hard too. It's not a bad one at all. <sighs> nice smallie. Oh, it's heavy. I think with that first hook set, I bit off half the worm and all that's left was this piece of Ned piece, I guess. And then that one came and got it. It'll be cool to get a double up, but I saw them get fired up under the graph. What I'm just throwing is a drop shot with a rope worm, six inch, and ox blood, red lake. One's coming to my bait. Oh, yeah, they're around it. Oh, he did it. Oh, they're all chunkers here. There's a stump there that has a bunch of fish on top of it, or on the back side of it up here. Oh. <laughs> this, yeah, this this fish in these stick ups right here. Uh huh. There's quite a bit of them now. That's a big blob down there. Mm hmm. Oh gosh, that's that heavy. Yeah. Yeah, dude. 
Oh, he got me stuck. That was a big blob I saw, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. That was a good one. Are you still there? No, he's not pulling no more. Another one. Oh, I'm gonna get bit right here. See him down there? Oh, there you go. Came out. What the heck? Here we go, I'm gonna get bit. They can't do it. They can't do it. They can't do it. There we go. That is a good fish. There we go. Look at the size of that one. Somebody else had broke them off. I saw this fish going pretty hard right there and uh, they're coming by fast. Had to back up to them. Get this hook out. I can see, but it has a thing choked. Let's see where's the barb at? The barb is this way. I'll help you out, buddy. Let's see, grab it. Let's see, but... There we go, just like that. No blood. Let me set up right here. Look at that. It's a good fish.
That's a good one, John. Yeah. You guys, 4.2 right here. Nice and chunky, healthy largemouth. I missed that bite and he came back to look at it, so he's probably gonna pick it up right now. There we go, I think he picked it up. Yep. Yep, that's her. I missed her first time. I cast it straight to her. She's sitting on top of a stump. Jeez, these fish here are fighters. Might not be that big, but they're strong. That's actually a pretty, really good one, actually. Oh, look at that size of that one on the fatty. Came right off. <laughs> that thing is heavy. Four point zero three. The other one was four point two. This one. Hey, how's this one? Lighter. That one seemed like a better fish, but oh, another solid one. 4.02. Ah, solid fish. That's what I was missing out on yesterday, huh? Those life scope fish. What's that? That's what I was missing out on, those life scope fish. Yeah, they're pretty easy to take off when you find them, huh? All right, I was so busy with that jig, you know? The jig was getting the bites, but the, that worm was getting the bigger bites. Right. And it's usually the opposite of that. <laughs> it's normally these de definitely the opposite. That fish I, I caught right there, uh -huh. that four pounder, the first one? He had somebody's drop shot hook in his gut. Did yeah. This is the rig that was in it. Let me see the rig. Is it yours? Let me see. You don't, you don't, ha you don't use uh, this type of hook, do you? Yeah, let me see. I think that is. Yeah? That way it looks familiar. Yeah, that's it. That's your rig? Yeah. You lost a four pounder yesterday? Was, that was on uh, pre-fishing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I tied the knot on the end of that. On the, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you lost that fish, John. I caught it for you. <laughs> pre-fishing, yeah. I, it got me in the tree. Yeah, that's the shit right here I used. <laughs> and I tied it. You can see my knot where I tie it on there. You lost a good one. Through. You lost a good one. Yeah, that was in that tree <laughs> around the corner. There, oh, yeah? Way over there. Oh, wow. That fish travel all the way back here? Yeah. Oh. So don't tell me those fish don't travel unless someone ties it just like I do. Looks like my uh, my knot too on that. That's pretty cool. Oh, John's on him. 
You good one? Oh, that is a good one, John. Nice. <laughs> he didn't jump. Yeah, I tell you what, it's crazy to see the shit come up against that bait. Dog, look at that thing. That's a good one, John. Look at that. Solid fish. Inches? That's gotta be 17. 17? Oh, my big came out. Look at that thing. There you go. Oh, you want me to just clip them on? 3.52? Three and a half. Yeah. Look at that tail. <laughs> Look at the tail. The heck? Yeah. It just got done spawning. Maybe it was a fry garter. Might be. But they're eating good, though, huh? There you go, John. Here. Gotta love this place. It's like Clear Lake fish at Trinity, though. Mountain <laughs> Lake. Ready? I got one. one. I don't know. I think that'd be small. Yeah, not too bad. It's long. But nothing like how there was yesterday, huh? Oh, you got them? One of the suspended ones? Big one? That is a good one. Holy that was what the suspended fish. I threw it right towards it. Oh, it shit. This is one of the ones that's weighed out there? It was it was like suspended about ten feet down. Oh, okay. There we go, I think that's a bite. Yeah. Jump high, huh? Holy crap. <laughs> You're just strong. He's not that big, but he's very strong. That's a pretty solid fish. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it looks like an 18. That's a nice heavy one.
jig. Little guy. It's weird. The jig is catching the small ones. The drop shot is catching the big ones. I'd way rather catch jig fish than drop shot fish, but for some reason, this lake, they're biting that worm more, so. And today, all of our big ones came scoping, you know, we'd see them and we'd throw to them and catch them with the light scope. I saw all the big ones today that me and both John had caught was with the light scope and on a drop shot. You know, you random cast, you get a lot of bites, but majority of the fish are smaller fish. But using that light scope and seeing this fish definitely helps you get the bigger bites. There's a bite. Little smally. Saw the one cruising open the sticks right there. What is that? That looks like a little bass. It does look like a little bass. I think that I think it's a little smallmouth. Oh yeah? I think your fish spit that one. Oh did it? The little one? Yeah. What kind of fish is this? It's, they spit it. It's, I don't know. The mouth opens up. I, I it's pretty know. big. It's a big mouth. Is that a large mouth? No, that looks like maybe... Is that a kokanee? It's gotta be a kokanee. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but probably a little kokanee. Caught fish on this one earlier this morning and they kind of lifted up but they just stopped biting after that. those fish right there on top of that stump. There we go. King got it. That's a pretty good small one. <sighs> oh, sharp teeth on this guy. That's one of the ones on top of the smoke. Not too bad, huh? That's a really nice smallie. Really good smallie.
Another solid fish. Fat fish. Check out that smallie. That's a good smallie right there. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Look at the size of that smallie. It's a good one. It's not as fat, but it is a nice one. She's about ready to go. Check that fish out, guys. How wide that thing is. Nice size larvae. It's a fatty. Look how small these mouth are on the large mouth. Really the wide and long fish, but small mouth. Nice northern strains. guys that's gonna be it for lake trinity three days up here and uh it was just a good time a lot of fish caught a lot of good quality fish and uh no giants but just all in all in all just good quality fish but uh john caught them really good on day one he, he caught uh the biggest bag out of all of us there i think there's 11 of us there he caught the biggest bag on that day john tell us what the bite was I had a drop shot there's little stink ups and uh, little pieces of wood basically and Throw it right in there, you'd see him swimming around with the forward facing, and the fish would eat. And you'd be surprised at how many fish were in each little patch. And I think 
me with a white rock and then uh, fist size, white rock, fist size uh, rock, and then the stick ups. That was like the key. And then uh, if you wanted to have some fun on a jig, throw the jig, <laughs> the fish would eat it. And there were smaller fish, the smallmouth were eating the jig, and the big largemouth were eating actually a six inch uh, robo or margarita. The key was really easy, the 437 sonar to target these larger ones out of the pack and catch those fish. We're either fighting these suspended fish that were just uh, randomly roaming around. Uh, those seem to be better quality fish and if you threw a drop shot to them, they would follow it and bite it. But uh, other than that, that was a pattern and uh, it was just a good three days of fishing. So Trinity is Clear Lake Reservoir. <laughs> Clear Lake's a natural lake, Trinity's a reservoir. Clear, la uh, Clear Lake and Trinity are about the same for the quality of fish, so, except for their small mouth. Right. Yeah, yeah this- Northern this, strain, large mouth. We, we were coming up to hope to catch some, some bigger, uh, some big small mouth, but uh, this time around, we caught a lot of better quality large mouth. The last time we were up here, we caught a lot of good quality small mouth, but this time, uh, it was just a lot of quality large mouth, so. Huge. Yep. Uh, really a, a fun lake to fish. Uh, definitely California's hidden gem. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this trip. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.